according to Naval News. The U.S. State Department has approved a contract to supply three E-2D advanced Hawkeye Airborne Early Warning and Control aircraft to the French Navy. The contract worth more than $2 billion will cover both non-recurring engineering, spares, repairs, and support equipment, training, and follow-on support. The anticipated contract award will be in 2022, with aircraft delivery to France in 2028 at the latest. The French Navy has been operating the E-2C Hawkeye since 1998 and is the only country other than the United States to operate its E-2 Hawkeye from an aircraft carrier. This capability enables interoperability exercises that support Hawkeyes from each other's carrier flight decks. With the addition of new generation E-2D advanced Hawkeye aircraft, the fleet's situational awareness will increase significantly. E-2D is the newest member of the family E-2 Hawkeye, which originated from the 1960s of the Cold War era. Developed by Northrop Grumman, the E-2 Hawkeye is an all-weather airborne early warning aircraft to the Naval Task Force. It provides warnings to the Navy of approaching air threats and provides location data and threats identification to fighter aircraft. It also performs auxiliary roles including strike command and control, surveillance, the guidance of search and rescue missions, and as a relay to extend the range of communications. E2D Advanced Hawkeye is a comprehensive upgrade version it completed its maiden flight in August 2007, and delivery of the initial production E2Ds began in 2010. The E2D Advanced Hawkeye features an all-new digital glass cockpit and a built-in air-to-air refueling capability, which significantly expands its combat capabilities. The aircraft is equipped with an all-new Avionix squid, including the new AN-APY-9 radar, radio squid, mission computer, integrated satellite communications, and new flight management system. The APY-9 radar features an active electronically scan array, which adds electronic scanning to the mechanical rotation of the radar in its radar. The radar has 360-degree all-weather scanning capabilities, while the identification friend or foe system has been enhanced. Electronic support measures have also been expanded and modernized to accommodate modern combat. In terms of design, E2D Advanced Hawkeye has little change in appearance compared to previous generations. The highlight is the large radium seated over the aft dorsal spy of the fuselage. The E2D has a length of 17.6 meters, a wingspan of 24.56 meters, and a height of 5.6 meters. It has an empty weight of 18.23 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons. As with most carrier-borne airplanes, the E-2D is equipped with a tail hook for recovery, and the nose gear can attack to a shutter of the aircraft carrier's captors for a launch. The tail unit incorporated a quark fin plane arrangement, and the horizontal sections are cranked upwards. The aircraft is operated by a crew of five, with the pilot and co-pilot on the flight deck and the combat information center officer 
air control visual and radar operator stations located in the rear fuselage directly beneath the rotor dome. The pilots are seated side by side in the cockpit, positioned aft of a short nose cone. The wing main planes are shoulder mounted and of straight line design, each given an underslung turboprop engine driving eight bladed propeller units. The E2D is equipped with two more powerful and more economical than the previous versions. Allison T56A427A turboprop engines with a fully automated digital control system of the power units. Each engine produces 5,100 horsepower. The presence of more powerful electric generators significantly increases the power of the machine. The E2D can reach a top speed of 650 km per hour, cruise speed of 474 km per hour, service ceiling of 10,600 meters, and feather range of 2,708 km. The E2D Advanced Hawkeye uses advanced electronic sensors combined with digital computer signal processing, especially its radars, for early warning of enemy aircraft attacks and anti ship missile attacks, and the control of carriers' combat air patrol fighters, and secondary for surveillance of the surrounding sea and land for enemy warships and guided missile launchers and any other electronic surveillance missions as directed. For the French Navy, the E2D Advanced Hawkeye will replace three aquatic aircraft of the previous modification version of the E2C Hawkeye currently in service in the Navy. They are currently part of the wing of the early French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle. As such, France will actually become the second foreign country to receive E2D modification aircraft after Japan, which ordered 13 such aircraft. My video of E2D Advanced Hawkeye ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting. Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.